An investigation by The New York Times found several trucks carrying so-called humanitarian aid that were set ablaze during a showdown at the Colombia-Venezuela border last month were not caused by President Nicolas Maduro's forces, as was widely reported at the time by both the media and Trump administration officials. National Security Advisor John Bolton, Vice President Mike Pence, Senator Marco Rubio and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo immediately condemned Maduro for the incident, using it to heighten calls for his removal. But a new analysis from The New York Times refutes this version of events and says, instead, it's likely a Molotov cocktail thrown by an anti-government protester started the fire. Some were quick to point out witnesses and independent journalists had already been countering the U.S. government narrative. Writing for The Intercept, journalist Glenn Greenwald called out mainstream media outlets for republishing the false claims. He wrote, quote, Every major U.S. war of the last several decades has begun the same way. The U.S. government fabricates an inflammatory, emotionally provocative lie, which large U.S. media outlets uncritically treat as truth, while refusing to air questioning or dissent, thus inflaming primal anger against the country the U.S. wants to attack. We'll speak with Glenn Greenwald later in the broadcast. In more news from Venezuela, local reports have emerged that the ongoing power outage has killed 17 people in hospitals where backup generators failed. President Nicolas Maduro said last week anti-government saboteurs backed by the United States took the nation's main hydroelectric power station at the Guri Dam offline. Meanwhile, The New York Times wrote Friday, U.S. sanctions have curbed Venezuelan imports of fuel that could have powered the dam following the failure. Opposition leader, self-declared interim President Juan Guaido, said he will call for a state of a national emergency in the Venezuelan parliament today.